Whitney Houston exclusive. Only E.T. can take you inside her first photo shoot since she backed out of the Oscars amid reports of drug problems. Now we talk to one of Whitney's family members and tell you what happened when she walked out on stage. John Benet's Texas Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news program in the world. Here is the top Hollywood news for Tuesday, April 11th, 2000. Hi, everyone. From Mary Hart, I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Bob Goen, and she's been out of sight now for two weeks amid rumors of drug problems. But last night, Whitney Houston made an impressive first public appearance since bowing out of the Oscars. And E.T. was behind the scenes. <laughs> I don't think that she should be judged. Whitney Houston has a talent that God gave her. Nobody else can take from her. And should be appreciated for what she is. E.T. had the exclusive as Houston's husband, Bobby Brown, escorted her to a TV Guide photo shoot backstage at Arista Records' 25th anniversary celebration. And as Whitney posed with Carlos Santana and Alan Jackson, her cousin, Dionne Warwick, denied a report in this week's People magazine that claimed she was going to talk to Houston about an alleged drug problem. Warwick told E.T. that Whitney only missed the Oscars because she suffers from a chronic bronchial condition. I don't pay attention to rumors, so you're going to talk about this regardless as to whether it's true or not. I think that it's so totally unfair, uh, unconditionally unfair, that people will just assume as opposed to finding out what the real deal is. I don't know what her own truth is inside, but I'm sure you know, she's a fantastic entertainer. Whatever's going on, she's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Whitney was greeted by a standing ovation as she walked on stage for a six-song performance honoring her mentor, heiress the chief, Clive Davis. Davis chose not to respond to a Newsweek article, which claims he begged Houston to enter rehab. I didn't read any article, and I'm really not here to comment on someone's personal night on um, uh, a night like this. Whitney presented a medley of her greatest hits, but she sometimes spoke rather than sang the words while four backup singers filled in the gaps. Houston also stopped abruptly before the final notes of I Will Always Love You to ask Brown for a glass of water. After her performance, Whitney rushed off without speaking to reporters, but Bobby came back to pose and jokingly asked the press not to write anything foul about him anymore. God bless you. Sometimes I read the tabloid and I find things about myself that aren't true. So I don't know what's true and what's not true, so I just have her in my prayers, and whatever the situation is, I'm behind 100%. After the performance, Whitney was invited to a mansion for a private post-party party, and tomorrow we'll take you inside with the exclusive picture. Pat O'Brien and Whitney Houston did sing. That's what's happening in Hollywood right now. We had total backstage access to Whitney's triumphant performance last night. She belted out six of her hits, performed for 20 minutes, at one point joined by husband Bobby Brown on stage at the heiress to 25th anniversary celebration. It was Whitney Houston's first public appearance since her Oscar no-show two weeks ago. And we were there exclusively as the couple made their way backstage and Bobby posed for some photos. I'm always proud whenever I see her. Always. Whitney's big return was the talk of the night. On the red carpet. I expect her to give the tower performance. To backstage, where her cousin, Dionne Warwick, reiterated that vocal problems forced Whitney off the Oscars. I sat there and listened to her try to sing. Right. She really tried. But Must have broken really your heart then, all the rumors and everything. And you know, it's so stupid when people have nothing else to say, especially when they don't know. Yeah. You know, ask the source. It was her highly anticipated performance for the Arista Records Party that had people talking. So how'd she do? Joining us now is People Magazine's Tom Kniff, who was at last night's show, as I was, and did she come through in the clutch? Pat, I think she really did. I thought she was fabulous. She really stepped up to the mic, and she needed to. There were a lot of rumors, of course, uh, swirling around her, but I, I felt that 20 seconds after she got on stage, those were all kind of forgotten, weren't they? They really were, and I think she, she was teasing the audience at the, at the start. I, I don't know if you heard her sit, warming up backstage, and, I mean, uh, the anticipation level was incredible. Uh, the woman has a flair for the dramatic. Most and there definitely. are some people uh, nitpicking about her performance, said she might have tripped or something. I didn't see that. I thought it was theater, the whole thing. You know, I think, yeah, she might have done it as, as just a joke or something because she certainly didn't trip. She might have done a little two-step when she caught uh, her shoe on her, her long, shimmery gown, but I thought she looked fabulous, didn't you? I mean, oh, she... yeah, that's great. What about the Bobby Brown appearance when he came out with a glass of water? Was that theater? What was that, a statement? 
Uh, you know, well, she was sweating a lot, that's for sure. She, she really was, uh, she was really working it up there. And I think she wanted to include him in, in, in her act and let people know how much they love one another. And, uh, I, you know, I enjoyed seeing him out there. It was about a 12, it may still be going on, it was about a 12-hour evening. <laughs> it was a long, <laughs> a long show. But uh, I think everybody had come there, obviously, to pay a tribute to Clive, but to right. see Whitney perform. Definitely. And is it over now for her? Is she back now? Is she off the covers of magazines? Well, I think this is a, a step in the right direction, Pat, but I think she, she still you know, has a long way to go to, um, to, to prove herself to the industry that she's reliable, because I think a lot of producers of shows like this uh, feel it's a risk booking her because she's canceled so many times. What was the buzz uh, swirling around your area when she came out, when she was finished? Did people say she was great? She was, you know, what were they saying? Oh, I, well, I think once she finished, people bolted out of there because that was it. All they wanted to see was her, even though there were like five more acts to go. So uh, she was definitely the sort of the climax of the evening. And the people around me were like, take your time, Whitney, take your time. You know, they were encouraging her because they, kn they knew how much pressure she was under. In short, she nailed it. She did. She most certainly did.